What's up guys, Andrew with No Suits TV here, and today we're gonna to talk about what's better climbing for you, whether it be bouldering or uh, rope climbing. So before we really go down and look at the walls themselves, we're gonna talk about kind of what the difference is between bouldering and rope climbing what I think the pros and cons are as a beginner, and what I started out as, and what I'm moved to now. So, with bouldering, so bouldering, you're just basically you're up, you're climbing a rock. Um, typically, don't go more than like 15 feet high, 14 feet high, not very high at all. Um, there's no rope, there's no harness. Uh, you have your shoes, your chalk bag, and then if you're outside, you have a crash pad, which I haven't done that yet. But if you're inside, you, it's usually a spongier area that you're going to fall down on. Rope climbing really implies what it sounds like. You're going to be climbing with a rope. Now that may be top rope climbing, where the rope is at the top, the very top, so you don't have to clip in anything. You just hook it to you and uh, climb on up with the belayer. You can do auto belay, which is exactly what it sounds like. You have the person who is helping you um, go up the wall. You nobody like that. It's automatic machine at the top that helps belay you. And then you get to, if you get really advanced, you start getting into lead climbing, which those videos will come later. So when you're starting out, when I started out climbing, I suggest boulder, primarily because you can walk straight into the gym and climb. Um, they're gonna have equipment for you if you wanna do the other climbing, um, but essentially all you need is, you don't even need chalk, uh, you just need shoes, and then you can climb. And so that's an easy way to get started with climbing. Um, again, low cost, even when you go, when you go outside, it's a lot lower cost than rope climbing because outside, you just need your shoes, chalk, and maybe a crash pad. Um, but the cons are, it's very strength heavy, meaning it's a lot, it's a lot of like short choppy movements or the movements themselves don't build, meaning you may only have like five or six moves that you make in the route, the entire project, but a lot of them will require a lot of strength, whereas rope climbing is more of an endurance thing. And then also there's not that safety net or, um, perceived safety that you have with you do the rope. You know, you're gonna get lowered down to the, um, to the ground a lot slower with the rope. Um, some of the routes in some gyms may top out, meaning when you get to the top of the route, you just climb over it and you walk down some stairs. Uh, other gyms don't have any of those. So you're, when you get to the top, you're, you're, you know, your hands are there at 15 feet. And so if you're five foot tall with you know, three foot wingspan, maybe you're hanging, but you still gotta fall like eight to 10 feet. So there is that kind of issue the people don't like about bouldering. With rope climbing, you have the um, the rope that you'll need, you'll need the harness. Um, so there is that added safety there, potentially, if you want to call it safe, it's more like minimizing your risk. Um, there is a bigger adrenaline rush, I think, because you are getting higher. Um, and then you have that more endurance based. The problem with rope climbing is that a lot of training is required. I Meaning you have to be trained how to do top rope, you have to be trained how to belay, you have to be shown how to do um, the auto belay, you have to be, if you want to go further than that, past top rope climbing and you start lead rope climbing, there's classes you should take to do it. Um, equipment starts to become an issue because above the bouldering inside where you need shoes and chalk, you also need to add a harness to rope climbing. If you start lead rope climbing, which is when you're climbing, like clipping as you go up the wall, which we'll, you'll see, um, you have to get the rope itself, the harness, shoes, chalk, Quick draws if you're wanting to go outside, um, anchor pieces when you're going outside, maybe helmets when you're going to go outside. So the cost starts adding up for rope climbing. Now, even with all that said, my goal is to climb outside. So I want to get to where I'm rock climbing outside in the outdoors, um, in nature, just kind of enjoying a lot more for me. But I started with bouldering. So regardless of where you're at, you need to start with bouldering in my opinion. Um, and then figure out if you like climbing, work your way out, see if you like it or not. Um, and then begin to work yourself over to the uh, rope side, top rope climbing, auto belays, and then learning to lead rope climb and then eventually go outside and sport, trad, and all these other words that we haven't talked about yet. So um, let's go down and let's look at some examples of people rock climbing. I'll we'll have a video of me rock climbing, uh, both bouldering and then rope climbing, just kind of getting out of what it looks like, and uh, that'll probably be it.
So that's basically the difference, in my opinion, between bouldering and rope, rope climbing. Again, I, I would start out with bouldering um, and move away to rope climbing. Right now, I just got to my uh, lead rope certification, so we will be seeing some more videos related to it, some questions that I have when I learned uh, how to lead rope climb. Uh, and then hopefully in about eight, you know, six months to a year, we'll be outside. So uh, if you like that video, make sure you hit the, the like button uh, for more videos like this. We'll continue to talk about beginning climbing and my experience as a beginning climber. Uh, hit that subscribe button below and uh, we'll see you in the next one.